sites today. Not only do we have some announcements, we have some really cool fun facts. So listen carefully. Here we go. Cooper Park District is looking for lifeguards. See Ms. Regan for more information. The next FCA meeting will be April 25th at 645 in room 144. Athletic participation ceremony is Tuesday, May 2nd in the FHS cafeteria at 2.45 p.m. Any senior that is participating in a college sport next year is welcome. The student must complete an entry form that is available at the business office or the athletic office. Completed forms are due on Friday, April 28th. Students must invite any college representatives, family, and friends to the event. The school will notify local media outlets and provide notices at the school via announcements, webpage, etc. And did you know that you cannot snore and dream at the same time? Okay, go. Bradford University is hosting a rural health careers camp for freshmen and sophomore students from June 26th to June 29th. Interested students should see Ms. Regan for more information. And did you know that billy goats <laughs> urinate on their heads to smell more attractive to females? Be holding elections for next year's members at the end of April. Students who are interested in being an officer on the executive board, an officer for their class, or just a representative for their class should pick up a petition to have their name placed on the ballot from Ms. Ogden in room 219 or Ms. Haskin in room 210. Application, applications are due this Friday, April 21st. If you have any questions, see Ms. Haskin or Ms. Ogden. If you extract all the gold from the middle of the earth, it will go up to your knees on land. Tickets for prom will go on sale Monday, April 24th for $35 a couple or $20 a single. Tickets may be purchased at the FHS business office before school, during passing time, during lunch with a pass, and after school only. Only juniors and seniors may purchase a ticket and must have their school ID and completed prom ticket information sheet. Students must be passing all core classes, not be on the NPSS for tardies or class cuts. And all fines, including lunch fines, must be paid before purchasing a ticket. Students must purchase their tickets before 1 p.m. on May 5th. No tickets will be sold after 1 p.m. on May 5th or at the door of the night of prom. Have a prom guest passes will be available beginning March 31st for Ms. Peterson in the attendance office. All guest passes must be filled out completely and returned to Ms. Peterson by April 28th to be eligible for consideration. No guest pass will be accepted after that date. No exceptions. All guests are subject to reference checks and must be enrolled in regular attendance or graduated from high school. Completing a guest pass is not automatic approval for a guest to attend prom. And did you know that if you bang your head against the wall for an hour, you'll burn 150 calories? Seniors, you must be passing all of your classes needed to graduate on the last day of school, May 17th, in order for your name to be included on the graduation program. The question is, are you passing your classes now? Time's running out. And do you know a crocodile cannot stick out his tongue? And sophomores, do you like to serve others? Are you interested in a two-year program through Highland Community College that teaches leadership skills by serving others? If this interests you, pick up a servant leadership application in the guidance office. Completed application should be turned in to Ms. Yulsh's mailbox in the attendance office by Friday, May 5th. Those with questions should talk to the current servant leader. Did you know that when hippos get upset, their sweat turns red? Hey, and I have the honor to announce the prize winners for the blood drive this year. Blood draw donor prizes for the spring drive. The prizes are as follows. McKenna Bennett, parking. Carly McAuliffe, parking. Earbuds go to Annie McLean. $25 gift certificate to J.C. Penny, Keyshawn Craig. $20 to Imperial Palace, Brianna Martinez. $20 to Applebee's, Austin Fox. $15 to Sephora, Jennifer Pitsley. $10 to McDonald's, Tommy Temple. $10 to, Kyle, uh, to McDonald's, Kylie Penikoff. $10 to Alicia Kraft over at Alternative to Culver's. $10 car wash to Garrett McDonald. $10 car wash to Caleb Reed. $10 to Pizza Hut, Matthew Pfeiffer. $10 to Pizza Hut, Nick Fritz. 
Ten dollars to Mobile, Kylie Hilly, and ten dollars to Mobile, Kyla Wilcox. Congratulations and seniors. If you've donated blood at least one time since you've been a freshman till now, you're going to get a red honor cord for your graduation gown. How cool is that? Thank you again for donating blood. We had like 93 people donate blood this semester. That's awesome. And graduation speaker tryouts will take place Wednesday, April 26th at 2.45 in my classroom. Speeches can be no longer than three minutes, and you must have a title at the time of the tryouts. So if you want to get some information, you want to find out what it's all about, seniors, stop by and see me. We'll get you signed up and give you a chance to be the speaker at graduation. Have a good day. Welcome back to the second episode of The Jump. I'm Jack here with Jack and Ian. We're going to talk about the NBA playoffs and who you guys have in the finals. What do you think, Ian? Uh, I'm going with the rematch of last year. I think that Cleveland's a different type of animal in the playoffs and Golden State. I don't see how you can't pick them over any other team in the West right now. I'm going to have to say the same thing. There's just two really good teams and no, really, to me, nobody else can compete. Uh, for me, I definitely got Golden State coming out of the West. There's no team in the West, let alone the league, who's going to compete with Golden State for seven games. But in the East, I think things get kind of trippy. Uh, Washington definitely has a chance to give the Cavs a run for their money in the finals. If the Cavs can't learn how to play defense, then John Wall and Bradley Beal will light them up. But I also think it's going to be a rematch, Cavs-Warriors. Next thing, who do you guys have for defensive player of the year this year? I'm going to have to go with Jeremiah Green. The man's a dog on both sides of the ball. He, get, he can do it all. He gets steals, rebounds, and blocks. Um, especially on an offensive team like Golden State, he's got a defensive mind. Draymond Green is a good candidate, but I'm, I personally am going to have to go with Kawhi Leonard. He's a really lockdown defender and a really good athlete, and I think he's right there as well. Uh, there's three guys, I think. Rudy Gobert on the Jazz, Kawhi Leonard on the Spurs, and Draymond Green on the Warriors. I'm definitely going with Draymond Green. He does everything. I mean, he gets his rebounds, he gets his steals, and he gets his block consistently every game. Rudy Gobert gets his blocks, and Kawhi Leonard will definitely lock down your best player, but Draymond's a dog on defense, and that's what he does best. He's the defense player of the year. Now we're going to cut to an exclusive interview with the Boston Celtics. Hello, I'm here with the uh, Boston Celtics today, and we'd like to ask you a few questions. So, uh, Celtics, how do you think you guys have played through the first two games? Mm, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. How do you think you guys will play uh, through the rest of the series? Maybe grab one game, a couple? Maybe? maybe? No. Maybe not lose to an eight seed? No? Oh, okay. Goals. Okay. Last thing, who do you guys uh, have for MVP this year? There's clearly two candidates here, uh, Russell Westbrook and James Harden. I'm going to have to go with James Harden. I think that because his team has won more games, I feel like he's more valuable to his team, even though Russell Westbrook has averaged a triple-double this year. I'm going to have to go with Ian. I think... Uh, James Harden is really valuable to his team in the Rockets. I think th they wouldn't be where they're at. Yes, the same thing with Russ, but Russ tries way too hard for his triple doubles. If James Harden did the same thing, he would average a triple double as well. I mean, you can make a case for four guys in the league. There's Kawhi, LeBron, James, and Russ. I think it comes down to James and Russ. Two rebounds separates James and Russ. I mean, if you want to nitpick that, that's fine. Russ is averaging his triple double, but Harden's top three scoring in the league and leads the league in assists. You can make a case for either of them. I think you have to give it to James Harden purely because his team has a better record. I mean, historically since 86, like 86 or 88, we've given the MVP to a top two seed. The Rockets are tied for the second best record in the whole league. It's James Harden. You hear that? Yeah, yeah, it's just the phone. Hello, Danny Ainge. Yeah, uh, LeBron and Cleveland called. Uh, they want the one seed back. Yeah, they actually deserve it. All right, yep, thank you.